Today we're here with Dr. Dora Pandora. She's just been um, on a month's trip to China. We've got her in today to just discuss what she was actually doing there and why it was so important to her. Okay, so can you let us know what you actually got up to in your month's visit to China? Well, I, it was an independent visit and um, okay. it was in the deep regions of China. And um, I stayed for a month with um, a, a tribe of uh, endangered species. Oh, right, okay. And uh, how, how did you find that? What, what species was this exactly? Well, this is it's a descendant of um, monkeys. Oh. <laughs> and um, breeding with lizards. Um, and it was the lesser spotted uh, climbing gophers. I don't know if you've heard of them. No, don't seem. Well, it's my research that will get them known. Oh, right, okay. And, and uh, I, spent, I went out there for a month with them and I lived in their tribe. Uh, learning the ways of the climbing uh, goat. Sorry, you, you lived with them for a month? Yes. Eating their food? Yeah, um, they mainly eat bark, so uh, I had to eat bark and uh, I still have splinters on my tongue. It's very painful, um, especially at night. I can't sleep sometimes. <laughs> right. Um, but anyway, and so I, I, I integrated with them and I learned their language and it was just a really... They, they have their own language? Yeah. And you picked that up within a month. Right. Um, so you, you live with them, you yeah, ate what very, they ate, um, you spoke that. How, how, did you, how did you live off no nutrients, no water? Well, I trained my body in the month prior to go. Um, I, I had a farm of guinea pigs, which uh, I shaved and made a suit out of their fur because it's right. very similar to gopher fur. And I made this suit and that kept me warm because they're great mm. insulators, guinea pigs. Um, right. And then I ate the bark and I, I tried to suck water out of leaves. That's what they do. Okay. Um, was you under any threat while you was oh, out yes. there? Was, or was it yeah. just... Pandas. Pandas are carnivorous. You don't know what happens out there. Pandas are You weren't carnivorous. there. I was there. Pandas aren't carnivorous. There. It's been we scientifically proven that we pandas ambushed. aren't carnivorous. We were They're ambushed. not carnivores. We were ambushed by pandas. They came with their bamboo sticks and then they don't eat them. They <laughs> no, don't, no, they don't eat bamboo. No, they don't eat bamboo. They use them as weapons. Um, they came hmm. in the night when we were all cuddled up sleeping and they oh. attacked us. Right, and I managed okay. to get the leader's one. There was three of them. I managed to get the leader's one, fashion it into a spear using my teeth and then I stabbed it, and and then we had extra warmth. We cuddled around the dead so panda. So you cuddled the dead panda? Yeah. You killed, yeah, I killed a an panda. endangered panda? It's not endangered. They say that it's endangered, but it's not. It's I know, I know, I went with the lesser spotted panda, the lesser spotted gophers. You, you didn't go, go, did you? You're lying. I'm not lying. You're lying. I'm not lying. You are lying. I'm lying. You didn't go. I didn't go. You know what? I, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of interviewing people like you that are just making up these ridiculous stories. I, I'm sick of it. You know what? Have fun.